we look at this one here, okay? The diagram below shows the uniform cross-section of a metal beam, okay? So we're asking me what is a cross-section. I'll explain now in a minute. So it says in calculate the area of the cross-section, you must show your work in. Now, suppose you're in the exam and you didn't know what a cross-section was. It doesn't matter in, in, in some sense in that you could still get the marks here. Because look what it's saying, calculate the area. Okay? So you look at that shape there, you just need to work out the area. Okay, so if you have a question and you don't understand something, right? Some of you saying I don't understand cross-section, you shouldn't give up on the question, right? Some of you are just giving up. Right? You should just have a look at what they what they want. Because it says area, just go for it. Work out that area. And you probably get the marks. Okay? Now when we talk about cross section, okay, it's talking about a three-dimensional shape. Alright? Three-dimensional shape. And it's this is the cross section because with this three-dimensional shape, that is what the shape is all the way through this three-dimensional. Now perhaps better explain if you think about um, a cereal box. Okay, if you look at the top of a cereal box, think of it the top of a cereal box. In the shape of a rectangle, yeah, and that shape is all the is all the way through, isn't it? It's a rectangle all the way through. Think of a Toblerone chocolate bar, okay? It's triangular, yeah. The end is triangular. It's a triangle all the way through. So the triangle is what we call a cross section because it's the same cross section all the way through. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, you know, there's lots of examples. You think of a can of baked beans in the shape of a cylinder, the top is a circle, isn't it? So that is a circular cross-section. It's a circle all the way through. Okay, you can cut the shape anywhere. Okay, you can cut it halfway, you still have a circle. So this here represents the cross-section of this three-dimensional shape. So this is the shape at the end of it and it, it goes all the way through. Calculate the area. Okay, so when you work out the area, um, you need to obviously split this up. Right? That's the only way you can work out this area. So what I would do is divide it into a rectangle and a triangle. Okay? That's, that's the way to go about this, a rectangle and a triangle. Now we can call this tri uh, rectangle A. Okay? And we can call that, if you want, triangle B. So when it comes to working out the area, for A, start off with A, the rectangle. The formula is really simple, isn't it, for a rectangle? It's just length times width, so that's 15 times 8. Okay? So, you know, this is a calculator paper question. Okay, so you use your calculator and you come up with the answer. Alright? 15 times 8 for A. Now, B is a little bit more complicated, but again, the formula. It's, it's just a triangle, isn't it? So half base height. Okay, that's the formula for a triangle. You do the base times the height, but you divide it by two. Okay. Now we need to work out what the base is. Okay. So the base, right? We could think of as this length here. Okay. So we need to work that out. It's not twenty. Okay, because 20, of course, is the whole length, right? So we need to figure out what that length is there. We know the whole length is 20, but we also know this length here is 8. So if the bottom side is 8, the top is also 8. So if that's 8 and the whole length there is 20, we're left with 12 here. Okay. Now we know the height. We need to know the height of this triangle as well, which is this bit here, yeah. And we can use the same principle. We know this here is four. Okay, but we know the length of this rectangle is fifteen, so we're left here then with doing fifteen. Take away that four, so we're left with eleven there for the height of the triangle, right? This should make sense to you because you've got eleven and four then makes up that 15. So when you work up the area of the 
triangle, you've got half base height, so you can do base, which is 12, times the height, which is 11, and then, of course, because you're halving it, you divide by 2. Okay? So if you work that out, you should get 66 centimetres squared. All right? How am I going to work up the total area? We need to add them, don't we? Yeah? We need to add both of them together. So you get 186 centimetres squared when you add those two together. Okay? Right, now, you might be wondering why on earth do they mention cross-section? What's that got to do with it? Okay? Well, when it comes to part B, there's a little bit more information about this question. They actually tell you the length of this metal beam is two meters, okay? So in other words, this is like the end of it, as I said, and it stretches on for two meters, okay? It then says, this is more like a physics question, but it does come up, okay, in the maths paper. The length of the metal beam is two meters and its mass is 180 kilograms. Calculate the density of the metal, giving you answer in these units here, right? grams per centimetre cubed. Now, don't get lost by what I just said, right? This is really simple. It really is straightforward. If you think about it, if they're going to put a physics question in a maths paper, it's not going to be a difficult physics question, okay? Because that wouldn't be fair. It's a, it's a really easy physics question. What you need to do to start with, right? When it comes to working out density, you need to know the volume, right? You need to know the volume of this metal beam. So this metal beam, let's have a look what shape it is again, just to remind myself. That's the sort of shape of it, isn't it? And it stretches on for two meters, okay? So it's a bit like that, but the three-dimensional. So we know now this area is 186, okay? And we know the length of it is two meters, okay? But be careful, because it is two meters. Think about our answer here the area, centimetre squared, wasn't it? Okay, so we need to change the length here, we need to change the units into centimetres. Two metres, of course, will be 200 centimetres, okay? Yeah? Okay, so again, we need to know about that. We need to know about one metre is 100 centimetres. So when it comes to working out the volume of, uh, of this shape, you just do the area, the cross section, times the length. Okay, they give you that formula in, on, on the paper. So on page two, it's there. So we have the area of the cross section, which is 186. And then you've got to times it then by the length, which is 200 centimeters. So we can do that on our calculator. Okay, and we get quite a big number, 37200 centimetre cubed. All right, is that okay? Now, let's get back to, once we worked out the volume, we can now address this density, this physics idea of working out density, okay? To work out density, we can use this triangle, okay? So this is something you need to remember, right? Density, mass, and volume, okay? They, they, they relate to each other. And if I want density with a triangle, if you've seen this before, we should have seen this before. If you want, the one you want is density, so cover it up with your finger. So density then will be the M on the top and V on the bottom. Okay, so density is mass divided by volume. Okay, so all you've got to do to work up density is really simple, is just to divide the mass by the volume. Again, though, we need to be careful, right? We need to be careful. Look at the units here. What have they got the mass in? Grams, yeah? But they've given it to us as 108 kilograms. Okay, so we need to write this in terms of grams, right? We need to write that in terms of grams. Now, a kilo is 1,000, okay? So that really is 108,000 grams. So I'll write it up here, to change 108 kilograms into grams, you just need to times it by 1,000. So you end up having a really big number, but it'd be in terms of grams, okay? 
So my density will be mass, which is 108,000, divided by the volume, which is 37,200. You work that out on your calculator. And you get this number here, so 2.9. 2.9, and the units, as it says, is grams per centimetre cubed. Okay? Now, a lot of information there, right? An awful lot of information. But there is a video going up on YouTube on density today, okay? Or either today or tomorrow. So, there'll be lots of questions on that for you to look at. Okay? Right, 